What's up, Scorpio? It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading. Yay! This will be for the second half of March. So, March 15th through the 31st. This will be general. So, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. If it does not resonate with you, do check your Moon and Rising sign for additional messages. All right, Scorpio. So, let's hop into this love reading. Let it be great. Let's see what's coming in for you guys in love from now until the 31st. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. Hit the notification button. You guys know I love and appreciate all of you guys. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. All right, so um, let's hop into the love reading. I feel like the energy is almost there, Scorpio. Um, let's see what else. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm starting a webinar in the next couple weeks to a month. Um, everything you guys need to know is in the description box. I will be talking about everything. Tarot, how I started, Twin Flames, Soulmates, Comic Partners. Um, there will be chat on there, just everything, like, you know. So, let me know if you guys are interested. Um, like I said, everything's in the link below. Um, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Emperor, the Three of Swords. Looks like someone from your past is wanting to return. That really broke your heart. King of Cups and a Death card. Could have been a, another Scorpio or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you guys are dealing with. And you guys are still having a hard time getting over that person. That person's having a hard time getting over you. But it looks like that person wants a new beginning. They want to prove themselves to you. For some of you guys, you guys can have children with this person. It doesn't have to be. For some of you guys, um, no, I'm not going to even bring that up. All right, so let's, yeah, let's hop into this reading, Scorpio. All right? So, yeah, let's hop into this love reading. Let's see what we got. All right, messages for the sign of Scorpio in love. So let's look at the situation, Scorpio, between you and whoever you're dealing with. Let's see the situation. We have a lot of stuff going on, Scorpio. It looks like five of pentacles. All right, so this is the situation. Five of Pentacles could be with the Taurus or Capricorn. I'm not gonna take those. That was a Queen of Swords there. Um, five of Pentacles is the situation, and I thought that the Five of Pentacles, like I said, the situation is a relationship, something that fell apart, a breakup. You struggling to, you know, end this or just struggling to let go of this relationship. Unrequited love here. I feel like someone wants to bring the relationship back. The other person doesn't, or with this five of pentacles and this being the situation again like i said it's like someone's still dealing with a breakup or a loss here okay um i feel like someone actually went back to a current relationship as well so let's look at the, the challenge king of swords remember we have that queen of swords all right that i shuffle back in let's see what's at the bottom of the deck the moon yeah cancer and pisces energy someone's very moody right now or confused on how they really feel about this relationship um so the challenge is the king of swords and i feel like the king of swords the challenge is someone needed to be honest with how they feel about a breakup about a relationship ending it looks like someone wants to finally speak their truth or finally be honest now and tell how they feel about a relationship now that it's over because they feel like they've completely lost that person and they're not going to get that person back that can be you scorpio that can be the person you're dealing with but someone is definitely like not happy about this breakup Someone's not happy about the breakup, okay? So let's see what's on your mind. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're very scattered within your thoughts, kind of all over the place. Maybe upset. Um, I feel like there could have been harsh words said. Maybe, you know, you went off on this person, let them know how you felt. That's probably why the King of Swords is here as a challenge. But I feel like whatever you said to this person, you had to speak some truth because the King of Swords is in the challenge position. So I feel like it... it, it cause a lot of problems or it caused things to be worse but it also made this person think or realize what they were losing or why you broke up with them or why you ended things with them or why you didn't want to move forward with them or why you just weren't happy in this relationship anymore okay so again like i said someone is someone is not happy over this breakup or about this breakup all right so let's look at your foundation three of pinnacles yeah see Someone's wanting to work on the partnership. Someone wants to come back and work on things. Okay. Um, you see this person is working really hard. Someone's sitting there. And I feel like this was you in the past. 
working really hard, building and bringing this relationship together. Uh, this person was just sitting there, not really focused, not really building, not really collaborating, not focused on the partnership as much as you, just sitting there wanting you to invest, okay? And I feel like that's what's going on in the foundation, them realizing that, them realizing why you broke up with them, why you ended things. Um, I feel like you guys could have been dealing with someone younger or someone that was just not as mature as you, okay? So um, let's take a peek into the recent past. We have the Six of Wands. So I feel like in the recent past, you were getting a lot of attention. You know, it was all about you. This person was all about Scorpio, all for Scorpio, and something changed, okay? Now, um, this person has her eyes closed. This guy has his eyes open. There's a cat on his shoulder. He's looking at her, and I feel like her eyes are closed because even though this person is getting a lot of attention, recognition are just feeling really happy i feel like your eyes are closed or their eyes are closed scorpio take how it resonates because someone knows that something's going on okay and they feel as if something is too good to be true is what i'm getting and i feel as if either you knew that this was gonna happen or things were just gonna like shift and change out of nowhere with this person in this relationship i don't know i'm getting like a really weird energy here Someone fell in love instantly. This could have been love at first sight for someone. Or someone denied their love or feelings that they had for someone. So it's like this person could have been playing hard to get her. That could have been you, Scorpio, acting as if you didn't really like this person. They were acting as if they didn't really like you, but really wanting to move things forward. Like really wanting a relationship. Really, you know, wanting people to root for you guys and see you guys move forward and have a successful relationship. I feel like that's what someone was wanting or like someone that's how deep their love was their feelings were but someone felt as if they were kind of ashamed or embarrassed or because this person is younger someone felt like someone didn't have something to offer or give or with this six of wands either you scorpio or them felt as if this person could have only made you happy but for so long like it was gonna eventually wear out I don't know why I'm picking that up. So let's look at the near future. We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, that's your energy, Scorpio. So that could have been you, you know, realizing that there really was love there, that you really do have feelings for this person. Um, or the Queen of Cups could just be you, like, full of emotions and love, ready to offer, ready to give, ready to express, ready to tell this person how you feel. Um, this can be them feeling like that towards you, take how it resonates, but... In the near future, someone's about to be honest and express their true emotions and feelings. All right? We do have the King of Swords across from the Queen of Cups, and I feel like that's a challenge. Some of you guys can have air in your chart where we're dealing with an air sign, but if not, there was no emotions being shown or expressed in this relationship. But it's like when the relationship ended, that's when the emotions and feelings came out. All right? So let's see how you see yourself, Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Mm, stuck in a cycle, wanting to come out of this. But I feel like you're shifting and changing. You're like you're coming out of it. See all the butterflies coming out. The grass is green. The swords are coming from out of the ground. So you're going into a new cycle. I feel like you just don't feel it yet. But I do see something new happening, something changing. The sky is beautiful. The clouds are shifting. The grass is green. There's butterflies. So you're coming out of a you're coming out of something. Going into something new, a fresh start, a new beginning. And this is how you see yourself. So this is what you want. You're just like, I can't take no more swords. You're like, I can't take no more pain, no more hurt. You're ready to come out of this, all right? So let's see what's going on in your environment. The strength card could be dealing with the Leo. Doesn't have to be. But this is you gaining inner strength, feeling happy, feeling confident, ready to move forward, Ready to take off your facade. Your, I mean, when you were, some of you guys were wearing a facade. See, there's a mask on, or someone around you guys were, and it's like you're you're ready to take it off and just show your strength. You're ready to show that you're strong. You went through one hell of a cycle, Scorpio. I feel like whatever this is, it's it's love, but I feel like you guys have so much other shit going on around you that it kind of affected this relationship. Okay. So let's look at your hopes and fears. Yeah, I see the two of swords. You are torn. And I feel like you really love this person or this person really loved you. But there was something that you were ignoring or they were ignoring. Or there was a lot of unresolved issues or a lot of things going on mentally. 
um, that either you were blindfolded to when it came to that person or they were blindfolded when it came to you and wanting to do right in both or all situations. For some of you, this was another person, but I really feel like this was like just life in general. And you guys were just going through a lot and dealing with this love situation. Someone hurt you, but then had other obstacles and challenges, which is why the Ten of Swords is here. Or I feel like you guys had one hell of a tower moment and then you guys got these Ten of Swords and this is how you see yourself. And you're like, what else can happen now? Like, what else is going to happen now? When am I going to get a break? But in your environment, we have the Strength card. So I feel like it was okay for you guys to be vulnerable or maybe needing to be vulnerable or really needing to, um, I'm not going to say be weak, but just needing to slow down a little bit to rebuild yourself up, to gain your inner strength. And that's how the strength card is in your environment. Because with the two of swords and your hopes and fears, you're like, damn, I don't want to go back to that. But at the same time, glad that you went through something because it's allowing you to make a choice and a decision to move forward and to come out of some type of stalemate so that you can open yourself up again and open up the heart chakra with the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, yeah. So let's look at the potential outcome. Yep, see Seven of Pentacles. Finally ready to invest. Finally ready to give in. You know what you want now. It was all in divine timing. So this is you or that person. The grass is still green. The pinnacle's on the tree. There's growth. You're balanced. You have green on. That's the heart chakra being balanced and ready. Open and ready. Okay, so it was all about divine timing. We do have the moon, like I said, at the bottom of the deck. We have the five of cups. Yeah, you guys are going through something. The nine of pinnacles is here. You guys needed to be alone for a while to really get your mind your mind together to get things right emotionally to find balance to come out of some type of phase and cycle that you guys were going through emotionally okay you are them and now healed and ready to move forward and coming out of a dark period with that moon being there okay so it's like there was a lot of things going on in your life scorpio or the person's life you guys were dealing with all right so um of course i clarify the majors first but we have the strength card so we don't, you guys only have one major and that's the strength card. So I'm going to clarify that. I want to clarify a couple other cards. All right, Scorpio. So um, let's see why the strength card is here. Clarify the strength card for Scorpio. Mm, look, we have the tower reverse, Scorpio. That's your energy and this is in your environment. So you guys were avoiding something. I feel like you guys didn't want to go through this. You guys didn't want to experience this. You were avoiding this tower moment and it came anyway. But look, the Emperor's here. Some of you guys have Aries or Taurus in your chart. But it's beautiful that it came because this is you being back in control. Okay? In charge. Putting your foot down. Getting your energy back as the Emperor. Having control over the situation, our future situations. For some of you guys, it's like... If this wasn't your energy, this was the person you were dealing with and they were trying to avoid a lot of things. And this person had a lot of growing up to do, a lot of maturing to do. Remember, we do have the Six of Wands where I told you someone could have been younger than you and they're coming back as an emperor because they were avoiding something that could no longer be avoided and they're coming back facing you as the emperor, ready to commit and offer you something solid. The emperor sitting in a seat in a chair. Now it's like this person is a little bit older learned a little bit, went through one hell of a phase and cycle. Um, I feel as if, um, like I said, this can be you, Scorpio, or the person you guys are dealing with. Why is the Emperor here? Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, but look. The Strength card. It took this person a while to get here. But we have the Strength card twice, so both you guys have some work to do. Both you guys were learning a lesson about self-love. And look, we have the Two of Swords reverse. Two of Swords up there. So both you guys are ready to finally move forward and have some type of new beginning. For some of you guys, this can be someone new that's coming in that just went through the same experience that knows what it's like to feel pain or to experience pain or go through emotions and feelings or just to go through something you've been through. And you're going to like that because you're going to be happy that you've met someone that's open and willing to talk about things like this. But I definitely feel like for others of you, this is someone from your past. Okay? Okay. Um, so let's see. I want to go into this Queen of Cups in the near future. 
that's your energy scorpio i have the queen of cups here for scorpio in the near future from march 15th to the 31st six of wands yeah see no longer confused you're ready for love some of you guys are like you're ready and you're open and you have options and you're about to meet someone or you met someone online in the recent past so you're about to meet someone online and you're no longer going to be sad i don't feel like you're ready to like fully move things forward as far as like maybe sex and having a relationship with the ace of wands reverse i feel like your energy still needs to shift and change and that like it's like you're ready to move forward you're ready to open yourself up emotionally to go towards someone like you're ready to start dating getting out dating again going on a date getting to know someone um maybe not ready to fully take it to the next level for some of you guys you might be but i just see the ace of wands reverse like you just moving slow and taking your time and um wanting to be patient or hoping that this person is patient but we do have the seven of pentacles for the potential outcome so this person i feel like is being patient divine timing willing to wait you know wanting to invest in you all right so let's see why the six of wands is here clarify the six of wands for scorpio in the recent past why is the six of wands in the recent past for scorpio yep see ace of pentacles reverse ten of cups see i knew it someone was more into the relationship than the other person was ace of pentacles reverse someone just felt like that person didn't have enough to offer or give them but the other person looked at this relationship as if it was true love their ultimate happiness and they see that the other person didn't either feel the same and with the lover's card reverse someone just felt like it was best to separate or they didn't want to pressure the other person into moving forward and having a relationship with them and the feelings not be mutual There was definitely some unrequited love here or someone was flexing, um, just not being honest with how they felt, okay? Or that's how you were or that's how they were to you, Scorpio. So someone was definitely like being distant, kind of holding back. And then like when you weren't around, thinking about you heavy or you were thinking about them heavy. Or once you guys went through this breakup and separation, it just like the other person just felt it. So let's see why the King of Swords is here for the challenge because this is the challenge, all right? The King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords a challenge for Scorpio? Uh, justice was trying to flip over see justice in the four cups someone wasn't being honest about their emotions and feelings someone really did like someone more than the other person the seven of wands someone was defensive and guarded had their guard up and was trying to run and control things rather than putting their guard down and it kind of pushed the person away rather than bringing the person closer are bringing this person towards you and it's because you guys were hurt in the past or you didn't want to get hurt again or you don't want to get hurt again so you put your guard up and that was your way of getting justice and this could have been with the libra or you have libra in your chart but with the four cups the universe was bringing you someone new but you guys were so focused on the past and how you didn't get justice in a past relationship and it affected this relationship and moving forward so you let your your past kind of come into this current relationship and it messed things up and now realizing that there is really love and feelings there. So this is either you, Scorpio, or the person you're dealing with. This is how they're feeling or you're feeling. So let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is the potential outcome for Scorpio, March 15th through the 31st. Why the Seven of Pentacles the potential outcome for Scorpio? The Knight of Wands reverse. We have a lot of stuff. King of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Cups. Yep, see, you guys have someone or have someone in your life that wants to invest Nine of Pentacles reverse. Things kind of got out of control, like I said. Well, not Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands reverse could have been a Sagittarius. Things kind of got out of control or things became unstable. Okay? We do have the Eight of Cups. That person walked away or you walked away. King of Pentacles reverse. Um, I feel like this person was all for commitment. You are this person. But now not wanting to commit or offer, but still willing to offer in the offer to this relationship. But for some of you guys, I honestly feel like this person might be dealing with someone else and that's what you found out. Or this King of Pentacles in reverse is being stubborn. But then we have the Emperor here. So let's see why the King of Pentacles is in reverse. There's something going on. So there's a piece of the puzzle missing. All right. So let's see. Why is the King of Pentacles here? That's probably why that to us the words is in your hopes and fears. Clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. So it could have been a Sagittarius. We have temperance reverse. This person is coming back to invest. 
they're coming back after walking away, but you don't trust this person and you're still wanting more information, still needing more information, or again, there's something that is going on, Scorpio. So let me go into this Two of Swords really quick. Because this is what's in your hopes and fears. Why is the Two of Swords in Scorpio's hopes and fears? The Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles reverse. You feel as if there's someone else or this person was taken. Or like as soon as you guys broke up, this person hopped into a new relationship right away. And you're still trying to understand and figure out why they did that. And you don't trust this person or coming back to invest. The King of Pentacles is the reverse because this person is kind of like being stubborn. Or like not showing emotions or feelings or... Um, like I said, you found out they went into something else right away, right after you guys broke up. But let's clarify this Seven of Pentacles because it's irritating me because I feel like now the energy has definitely shifted and changed. The Hermit, you guys could have been dealing with a Virgo and the Empress. Oh, so some of you guys were dealing with someone that was going through a separation. And that's why the Emperor is in the upright. And they were avoiding telling you this in your environment. And with the Strength card, okay, now it makes more sense. So the Empress is here with the Hermit. Okay, and you just feel like this, per for some of you guys, you feel like this person is lying, you feel like they're not telling you the truth. So let's clarify this empress and let's see if this person is still around. If not, it's like you want this relationship, but you want to be the empress. We have the emperor and the emperor here. I mean, the empress and the empress. You want to be the empress. Like you want them to fully commit and offer and give you the ten of cups, all of that. So why is this empress here? Clarify the empress, please. The five of cups. And the ace of wands reverse so if you guys are wondering if they left this person or ended it they did or they're going through the process of ending that ending the relationship we have the eight of pentacles reverse and we have the six of cups reverse they're no longer stuck on the past walking away breaking from that relationship or breaking free you know breaking up the moon reverse they hid it from you they lied you found out the truth ten of wands it caused a lot of problems in the relationship lovers card reverse you found out it was a third party for some of you guys okay so that's why that's there. The seven of pentacles. But this person is going back on wanting to invest. Um, or it's weird because for some of you guys, I feel like if this is someone new coming in, they're coming in with baggage, but I still see you kind of wanting to be with this person. I feel like you're going to cut them off, maybe block them out, but then still wanting to work it out is what I'm getting for some of you guys. Because either they went into something new right away or you're starting something new and this person is keeping secrets and lying and you don't know just yet, but they're walking away from something. They could possibly have someone pregnant or they were married and they're not telling you or they're going through like a divorce or a separation and they're not telling you, but they are walking away though, that's the thing, but they're not telling you because they don't want you to walk away from them and they really actually like you and it's kind of like love at first sight. And they really, really like you. All right, so let's see what we got. So now I'm wondering if this is really love at first sight or some bullshit. So let's see. Let's see, Scorpio. What do we got? Messages for the sign of Scorpio on love, March 15th through the 31st. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. We have very soon, and we have you deserve love, you are lovable. At the bottom of the deck, we have new love. So like I said, some of you guys, this is someone new that's coming in that's going to be dealing with this situation. All right, so let's see. Give your relationship a chance work on your partnerships. Partnerships. So I feel like if this is someone from your past, you know, like they're wanting to make change or prove to you that they're ready to change. They're ready to work on their partnerships. See how you are looking kind of sideways. You're like, mm, I don't know. For others of you, this is someone new. And I'm not going to say you're going to test it, but it's about you working on your partnership skills. Like if this person is upfront and honest and telling you everything, how are you going to react to this? You know, are you still going to want to work it out with them? Or are you going to push them away? But let's see what we got. We have the world card. Yeah, see? So the world card is here. And for some of you guys, this is someone new coming in. And it's going to work out or it will work out. It could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. And it will work out. But this person does need to let go of something. And it's like they have let go or they are letting go. They just haven't been honest with you about this. Or the world card is saying someone wants to close the door to the past and start completely new with you yep see the tower so someone definitely wants to like rebuild everything okay the tower is here the world card so if this is someone from your past completely letting go of the past rebuilding 
wanting things to be solid, wanting to work on the relationship, the world card, wanting to make changes, ready to make changes. Now, if this is someone new, like I said, they're going through the tower, they're ending something, but look, the tree is still the tree is still there, it's still firm, it's still growing. It's like they're just getting out of something or they're coming out of something. So there's still a chance and opportunity for you guys to be together with the world card. I see things growing, a family. You guys can have something with this person. All right. Um we have very soon clearly decided what you want so that it comes to you now. And with that, look what we have the fool. So it could be an Aquarius or an Aries. But there's a new beginning ahead of you. And it's time for you guys to decide what it is you really want. Do you really want this or not? You know, the temperance card is here. It could be a Sagittarius. All right? But you need to listen to your emotions and feelings. And look at everything. Look at all the facts before you guys react emotionally, before you guys start this new beginning, before you guys accept this offer. And ask yourself if this is something that you're really wanting or something that you can accept or something that you can deal with. All right? You deserve love. You are lovable. Yes, you are, Scorpio. And with that, we have a seven of wands. So it's saying that you deserve love. You are lovable. But you also have your guard up with the seven of wands. Very defensive. Got, got your guard up. Not speaking up. You know, and then we have the five of wands. Yeah, so you've been hurt. And it's like, I feel like you do deserve love. You want love, but you're just very, like, you're upset. Yeah, see, judgment. It's time for you to make a change. You know, either you're going to extend this energy and push people away, or you're going to release this energy and allow something new to finally come in or change for you, Scorpio, with judgment here. Because we have the Five of Wands, and that's inner conflict, Seven of Wands, defensive, guarded, determined to have love, determined you, you want love, you feel like you're lovable, but look how guarded you are, look how defensive you are. And then we have judgment. So it's time for you to make a decision. Are you going to stay in that energy? Or are you going to shift that energy and allow something new to happen? I mean, allow someone new to come in or allow something new to change in your love life. All right? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, you guys can go on my website, fireintuition.com. I love you guys. Sending lots of love your way, Scorpio. And we will talk again soon. Bye.